Hello from Maui again. Today we're gonna to be hiking the super popular Twin Falls hike. For a full trail guide of Twin Falls, you can check the link in the description below. Once you start off this hike, there are two options. You can go right to the lower falls and then left to the upper falls. The lower falls is the easier of the uh, kind of pair. There's actually about seven waterfalls on this hike, not two. So I'm not sure where Twin Falls name comes from. All right, right past the entry point, there is a side trail here to your left, and this will get you to the base of the very first waterfall in Twin Falls. As I mentioned, there is more than two, but uh, this is like the first of the popular ones and definitely the easiest one to get to. We're at the... Uh base here the first waterfall obviously a nice spot to swim a nice spot to do some little jumps and uh, i'll go and show you what it looks like from above because you can check it out uh, up there as well super easy to get to like 100 yards 200 yards from the road so definitely uh family friendly for sure uh the one thing to keep in mind when you're visiting twin falls is it is privately owned so there are hours like most of the hikes here in hawaii we figured out do have and I'll link those in the full uh, trail guide in the description below as well. This is, I think, the first falls next to the porter potties. Let's take a left. That was the uh, lower falls there, and it's definitely the best spot to swim we've saw, seen so far. Uh, we're gonna continue on working our way up the uh, river here a bit and uh, go explore the upper falls. Definitely want waterproof uh, shoes or sandals for this one, just so you can kind of navigate around a lot more freely here. What we're noticing is that unlike a lot of the smaller waterfalls along the Hana Highway, this one is super super crowded there are tons of people here and lots of big groups and families too so don't expect any kind of seclusion here if that's what you're looking for all right so this is the uh kind of second to last set of falls here you can see there's a little spot where this guy's about to jump off into the water there he goes so yeah, there's a bunch of different ways to access this one. Uh, there's a bunch of social trails and you can get down here and swim here as well before heading up to the last waterfall. They obviously don't want you going past this, but this is another little waterfall right past that one I just showed you as well. After this point, this is where you're going to be hiking on the farm trail for a bit. And you're basically going to take the road up here to the upper of the Twin Falls. You can check all the gear we're using and the links in the description below, in addition with uh, virtual Sherpa gear, which you can help support the channel by purchasing that as well. If you pass that gate back there, you'll be into extreme hiking territory, aka it's just like more wild. It's not gonna be like the high level of maintenance down you have in the park there. There is about a mile or so of trails each way. Look at these beautiful flowers. Jackie tells me this is a hibiscus. It is cool. A whole bunch of them up here. Forging the deep, treacherous waters. So what we've discovered a lot about Maui specifically, I don't want to paint the whole uh, state of Hawaii like this, but there's a lot of red tape here. So a lot of what goes on is not necessarily like you can't do things. It's like people have sued or they don't want to get sued. So when you see the sign 
that we just passed that says intense hiking it's more or less just saying if something happens to you you can't see them We are almost at the upper falls here, just about a mile from the car to here. And this is where pretty much the trail ends. This is considered, I think, the other twin fall. Like I said, there's probably about five or six down there, but this is the upper one and it's kind of the end of the road. So this is the upper twin falls here, and it's a nice spot to take some pictures, take a little break, or uh, go for a swim. So that's gonna wrap up my video here of Quinn Falls here in Maui. Definitely a cool hike. Um, and as always, for a full trail guide of this hike, you can check the link in the description below. Personally, I'd probably check out a different waterfall on the Hana Highway if you only had one to choose, but if you had multiple stops, this one's definitely worth checking out. This one's definitely good for families and little kids. It's really not an intense hike at all. Even past that lower gate that I showed you, there's absolutely no reason to have that sign. It's definitely just liability. There is no intense hiking on this at all. Uh, so yeah. A fun little hike, definitely worth a stop, uh, but definitely more crowded than many, many of, of the waterfalls on the Hana Highway here. We personally enjoyed this one, which I won't tell you what it is, just to leave it a little bit private. If you're new to my channel, I do virtual trail guides here in Maui, based in Colorado, and much, much more. Go ahead and hit that subscribe and bell button not to miss any future hike-related content. As always, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you on the next adventure.